Hello, this is the author MJ Rennie, and I'd like to share my review of a website I discovered recently and enjoy looking at very much. It's called Vintage Sleaze. Paperbacks from the golden era of dirty books are featured here from the 1970s and many others as well. One after another, these lurid delights are a cornucopia of enjoyable finds. The webmaster has presented them to potential buyers with cover image, details, and the first line of the story included. There are no annoying pop-ups, no intrusive messages, and none of the aggravating claptrap that attends virtually every other commercial website I come across. Hey, I'll decide what I want to look at and when, thank you. Uh, you know as well as I do, however, my friends that things aren't always that way. On Vintage Sleaze, it is. What we have here is a straightforward and, in its own way, beautiful approach to a very controversial kind of reading material. So, if you, like me, had your literary interests sparked at a time uh, in your life when the exposure to these materials had a profound effect on you, you want to check this website out. The offerings range from gay to straight, from kinky to weird, from sick to sloppily sentimental in some cases. The three things that all of the books and all of the materials here have in common is that they are about sex, sex, and sex. Make no mistake, there are here no barriers to age, consent, or family relationships. These are, after all, the first products of the fall of censorship as a result of a Supreme Court decision in the uh, late 1960s. Be forewarned that many of the books are hardcore, but rarely does that detract from the exuberant message of Anything Goes. All you see and read here is protected speech guaranteed by the First Amendment of the Constitution because none of it involves real people. It is imaginary and fictional and therefore free speech. Let's take a look at some typical examples of the things that are offered here. Right now we're kind of rolling through the gangster sleaze section and looking at books like Rent Party. We go back from there and choose another one of the themes that are conveniently organized and take a look at what we call nudist sleaze. We'll see that there's only a single volume offered under nudist sleaze, but I think that eventually there will be more. That one's called in New Eden. Another theme that we can look at is transvestite sleaze. This one <laughs> has a few more offerings, surprisingly. Uh, transvestite sleaze is a more mm, prolific category than nudist sleaze. And we also have some gems here to uh, feast our eyes on, such as, uh, you know, Nugget and um, a variety of others. Our next choice to take a look at will be Trailer Park Sleaze. Again, here we have only two titles and one of them is called Trailer Tramp. I can imagine that that's truly an uplifting literary experience. On a par, say, with E.L. James. More to our liking here is the category that involves writers. The Lady Editor's Young Boys is one of them. There's another title called Incest. God only knows what goes on in the households of some of these writers uh, if they're able to produce materials as uh, interesting as this. 
we're going to check out our Vintage Sleeves reference library. And we see uh, a number of titles here. We have a choice between books, reference books, Gay Talese, there's Thy Neighbor's Wife is here, Secret Record, History of Pornography. That's a $5 title, very reasonably priced. How to Make a Dirty Movie, Adult Movies, Cinema. Uh, you can tell these are serious books about intellectual subjects. Um, the Danish Porno Guidebook is probably one of them. Here also we can take a look at the uh, large, heavy book of Eric Stanton's. Uh, holds a huge number of Eric Stanton's drawings. And he was a prolific cover artist for these kinds of books uh, back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. From reference books, we go to our image, archive, and gallery. Now here, the uh, webmaster allows us to take a look at some of the uh, covers drawn by some of the more famous um, artists of the time, uh, men such as Bill Ward and Eric Stanton. Here's a, another color here for hot jazz. We can tell that it's uh, pretty interesting from the cover. Here's uh, Black Taskmaster. He seems to have an agenda on his mind. Take a look now at Made to Please. Looks like this upscale couple is fighting over the maid. High school swingers. They look like they're about to have a pretty good time, doesn't it? And here in our gay category, his brother love. And here's another Stanton cover, Pleasure Bound. Looks like she's been dipping his head in the water. And here's Twisted. And this is certainly a new twist on the concept of Twisted. Well, this concludes our brief review of VintageSleaze.com and the things that it has to offer. And uh, I hope you will enjoy it as much as I did.